U.S. delivers rockets to Ukraine. The Pentagon has disclosed details of the shipment of anti-tank missile systems and projectiles supplied to Kiev, as Moscow grows increasingly concerned about the prospect of a full-blown conflict in Ukraine's Donbass region. In a statement received by Russian news outlet TASS on Thursday, Pentagon spokesman Lt. Col. Anton Semelroth said that the $60 million package included 30 Javelin Command and Control launchers, as well as 180 missiles. According to him, the rocket launchers were delivered to Ukraine on October 23. In 2021, the U.S. allocated more than $450 million in aid to Ukraine for security tasks as part of our continued commitment to support the country's ability to defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity, the spokesman added. Semelrotha's comments come amid warnings from Moscow over tensions in the war-torn region close to Russia's borders. Last week, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that more and more forces and equipment are being accumulated on the line of contact in the Donbass, supported by an increasing number of Western instructors. At the end of November, the top diplomat said that claims Ukraine's troops had deployed American-made Javelin rocket launchers were a matter of grave concern and could lead to a full-blown offensive in the war-torn region. In recent weeks, we have seen a stream of consciousness from the Ukrainian leadership, especially when it comes to the military, that is excessively inflamed and dangerous, Lavrov said. Just hours before, the head of Ukraine's military intelligence service, Kirill Budinov, revealed that advanced U.S.-made Javelin systems had been tested by Ukraine's troops and were being used by soldiers in the Donbass. Russia's ambassador in Washington, Anatoly Antonov, warned the White House earlier in November that supplying Ukraine with deadly armaments could diminish hopes for peace in the region, stating that Moscow believes another opportunity to encourage Kiev to stop the war has been missed. Ukrainian People's Part-Time Army Prepares to Resist Russian Threat Politicians across Europe may be jittery about what many believe is an imminent Russian invasion of Ukraine, but for civilians taking part in weekly defense training the idea is less remote. I have to be prepared to take up arms at any moment and go where my commander tells me to, said Andriy Kudinov, a mild-mannered 45-year-old bank employee who trains every Saturday morning. He is not too worried about the constant stream of news about a Russian military buildup at the border. If there's an incursion into our territory, we will take something better than training weapons and we will drive the uninvited guests out from our land, he said as the sun rose over a disused power station, frost glistening on the ground. He is one of thousands of Ukrainians who have signed short-term contracts with the army to join territorial defense units. They keep going about their lives, but they need to be there to defend their city in case a war is declared. Civilians and the military in Ukraine, which in 2014 lost Crimea to Russia and large swathes of industrial heartland in the east to Russia-backed separatists, are mentally prepared for a large-scale invasion, though residents of Kiev and the rest of the country are mostly unfazed. Ukraine's armed forces have made a stunning turnaround since the country first faced a Russian invasion in Crimea. The disintegration of Ukraine's military was clear to all when Russia annexed Crimea without a shot fired, and a month later Kremlin-backed separatists started seizing town after town in the east. Ukraine's military budget has since grown threefold and it is expected to hit an all-time post-Soviet high of 133 billion hryvnias, 4.4 billion euros, next year. Thanks to better funding, arms purchases and Western military aid of several billion pounds, including donations of non-lethal equipment, Ukrainian troops feel secure on the front line against Russia-backed rebels. Ukraine's army has 251,000 troops and 900,000 people on reserve duty, which is more than in China or the US. Yet Vladimir Putin's Russian army can outdo Ukraine almost on every front. Ukraine, for one, does not have much missile defense or navy to speak of. Ukraine's defense minister listed missile defense, the navy and the air force as areas that Kiev needs to invest in. Last shipment of US arms arrives in Ukraine amid Russia tensions. 
The final portion of a $60 million U.S. security assistance package to Ukraine approved by President Biden is expected to arrive this week amid rising tensions with Moscow as hundreds of Russian troops continue massing along the border. The final shipment includes small arms, ammunition, and grenades, Defense Department officials told reporters on Wednesday, just a day after Mr. Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin held a two-hour virtual summit over recent clashes in Ukraine and other places along Russia's borders with Europe. The military assistance shipment includes both lethal and non-lethal items, from patrol boats to medical supplies, officials said. Spokesman John Kirby declined to comment on possible future shipments should tensions escalate. Hundreds of U.S.-made FGM-148 Javelin missiles are now in the hands of Ukrainian soldiers in the event Russian tanks roll across their border. The warhead is capable of knocking out armored vehicles by striking them from above where they are most vulnerable. Any restrictions from the Americans on where the Javelin missiles can be located have been waived as Russian troops have reportedly massed on their side of the border with Ukraine. There is no geographic restriction on where they can be used inside Ukraine, Mr. Kirby said. We expect them to be used responsibly and for the purposes of self-defense. U.S. lawmakers pledged an additional $300 million in security assistance for Ukraine in the massive defense authorization bill now working its way through Congress. Pentagon officials didn't know what the funds would be spent on because much will be decided based on how the final bill is written. This administration has been willing to provide security assistance to Ukraine that really does help them defend themselves, Mr. Kirby said. Whatever happens in Ukraine, U.S. soldiers won't be taking an active role in any fighting there. But there are several NATO member countries nearby and U.S. officials said they are nervous about whether Russia will invade. A full invasion of Ukraine by Russia could trigger World War III, warns Ukrainian minister. A full invasion of Ukraine by Russia would spread conflict around Europe and could even trigger World War III, a Ukrainian government minister has warned. Yulia Laputina, the Minister for Veterans Affairs, who previously served as a top officer in Ukraine's equivalent of MI5, told Sky News that her country was ready to defend itself should Moscow launch a new attack. But she said the consequences of further military action by President Vladimir Putin would not be contained within Ukrainian borders. If Russia will invade you know, you should also take care about the Balkans. What Russians are doing now in Serbia, they try to provoke a situation in the Balkans, she said in an interview at her office in Kiev. But we also take into account the beginning of World War II. Asked whether there was a chance an invasion could lead to a third world war, the minister said, yeah. Yeah. Because geopolitically, it looks like this is a possible scenario. So, we should pay attention to the Ukrainian issue because of the security of the continent. This, the spreading of war in case of Russian invasion to Ukraine, will be much wider than Ukraine. The minister, who rose to the rank of Major General in Ukraine's SBU Security Service, said the majority of her nation's 400,000 strong veterans, aged between 20 to around 60 years old, would be willing to fight if needed. Many were young volunteers who signed up to defend the country when Russian-backed separatists seized territory in the east and Russia annexed Crimea in 2014. Asked whether she thought Ukraine would be able to resist a larger invasion by its much more powerful neighbor, Major General Laputina said, I think that it will be successful because even in the case of a real military invasion, the first step may be successful for aggressors. But the next step will not be successful because we have a very big experience of national resistance.